about here. We are just a few minutes before the start. Here at the hill climb. Everybody ready to film and capture as much as possible. It will be a scramble. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it's like the, the whole the noise and the smell and everyone wants something. It's kind of stressful, but we're going to do it. <laughs> it's easy yeah, yeah. What speed? What do you guess? Oh, we How much can you do? Here there are no limits. 63 kilometers per hour. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any technical worries? Not, no. not really, no. It has been pretty, not on camera. Not on camera. It has been pretty reliable recently, <laughs> the last few days. So, like, why not? Why not? Maybe it makes it all the way up. So, go! Driving up the hill was like the most exciting moment at the Good Wood Festival. Yeah, I'm quite sure we, we provide a, a great show, something unique. Here at Goodwood, you meet lots of famous people and we are really lucky to bump into Robert Levelin. He's a real expert in e-mobility. I met him in 2010, a long time ago. And since then, he set up a YouTube channel fully charged, and I'm really pleased we can talk to him here in front of the Terran. An amazing achievement to get this to get this far. It's fantastic. And how high are you going? The summit is 6,893 meters. Jesus, so, <laughs> that's quite high. Yes, at 7,000 meters is where they start wearing you have the to oxygen. Wear oxygen. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. So yeah. we're just below, but. It's not like it's difficult. Yeah, yeah, it's really tough. I mean, I haven't been that high, but I've been high up in the Rockies, mm -hmm. and I was thinking it's fine. No one was saying you've got to have oxygen, but when you climb up a short distance, yeah, yeah. you go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just you cannot get your breath. It's the weirdest. That's the yeah. only time I've experienced that, but it's yeah. really noticeable. How... Yeah, and the worst is like you can't really focus anymore. Yeah. You know, you might be able to put one foot in front yeah. of the next, but, but your then, brain's not working. But then, yeah operating a winch and yeah, yeah. Uh, driving and uh, software and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it is quite tough. Yeah. So. There's nothing else remotely like it that uh -huh. I've ever heard of. But uh -huh. the, the, uh -huh. the insanity of driving up a <laughs> fucking mountain. So high, that I want you to have some oxygen, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, <laughs> we will bring some. Yeah, some some for the emergencies. Yeah, yeah. Claudio and... Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. For the older members of the yeah, team. The older members <laughs> of the team, essentially, yeah. <laughs> but I like to push boundaries. Still. You're, you're very so, good at yeah, pushing yeah. boundaries. Yeah, yeah we, he always impresses us. <laughs> Camera slacks off. Yeah. <laughs> But tell me, what got you actually involved with this e-mobility? It was about the air quality in Los Angeles in the 80s and 90s when I first went. There. It was horrendous. Uh -huh, on, so on, there were certain days when it was, you know, it was Like China toxic. now. Yeah. yeah. I, I still like the petrol cars, but yeah. also like 
most of the time I, I love the sound, but the longer I drive electric and the longer we did it, yeah. it's like, it's just noise. Yeah. You know, it's like... And smell. Uh, that was, yeah, yeah. And I saw a beautiful, amazing uh, NASCAR. Yeah. Massive thing. Yeah. It was like noise or something. And I was, I was going, oh, wow, that's so loud. Yeah. And then I went, I can't breathe. <laughs> the, yeah. the smoke was coming out. Yeah, we were, really there. we were looking at them before. Yeah. There, and there, and it's crazy, the smell. And, the, yeah. the, 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 and then it's like, is this really all necessary? Like, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's not as beautiful and the sound is not as beautiful well, anymore as it, as it used, used to be. be. No, no, it's weird. You know, my great-grandchildren had asked their granddad, did you really sit in a machine that had a metal box at the front with explosions in it <laughs> that made poisonous gas? And you'll go, well, it wasn't quite like that, but yes, we did. <laughs>